What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Timothy Bradley. Teofimo Lopez, the beef continues. Get this. Timothy Bradley says on Teofimo Lopez, the kid wants attention. Never seen a man whine and cry so much. Timothy Bradley hasn't been too pleased by the recent conduct of Teofimo Lopez Jr. Of course, Bradley is a former two-division title is currently ESPN's commentator and a recent inductee into the International Boxing Hall of Fame recently praised Lopez for his impressive win over Josh Taylor at the theater at Madison Square Garden in New York City to earn the WBO 140-pound title and an achievement to make Lopez 25 a champion in two divisions. But Bradley had torser words for Lopez as it relates to the Brooklyn native's behavior immediately after the win over Taylor. Lopez declared that he was retired and suggested that he was not being paid enough by his promoter top rank, reportedly earned a payday over two million, but insisted to reporters that his takeaway was only one million. It's not clear if Lopez was referring to a net or gross figure. Lopez has since claimed he would only return to boxing if he could secure a nine-figure contract deal, if you guys heard, okay? And here comes the dump truck, Bradley said, on the third knockdown rule. You know me, man. I got to keep it 100 with you. I think this guy, Teofimo Lopez, I like the kid, man. I had a relationship with this kid. When I said what I said about him being dog food for 140, 40s, I think that really ticked him off. So now our relationship has kind of gone south. I still think he's a cool kid, but the thing is that the kid wants attention, man. I've never seen a man whine and cry so much about his situation, about the business of boxing, about what he's not getting, about this fighter and that fighter. Man, like, it's ridiculous to watch and it's shameful and at the same time. Now he's being considered himself as retired. I don't know what it has to do with. I don't know if that has to do with his divorce. He says, I'm not sure if anything to do with his father, Bradley said. You got to understand this. The streets talk, man. Boxing is a small community. Yes, but they talk. You got to understand this kid has been holding down the fort, holding down his family since he became a professional. He has the responsibility to, to take care of the entire household. Understand that. When you have that type of pressure, I'm a man, I have kids, and he has kids as well. When you have that type of pressure on you each time out, you have to deliver. It gets straining. You get sick and tired of feeling that pressure, feeling that heavy weight on you. I think that kid is at a point where he feels that the pressure and like I'm done with this man. I think he said a million, I think he said he made a million for this fight again, complaining once again. That's something you need to talk to your manager about because to me, I don't think your manager has done a good enough job if you're only getting paid a million dollars in a fight of that magnitude, so something is wrong there, and let me counterpunch. Um, of course, Teofimo Lopez feels the pressure. Of course, he knows what it's about, and he knows that it's all about money. That's what it's about. It's about money compared to the amount of money that he would have to give his wife because the woman takes half of his shit, especially when he hasn't signed a prenup. That's that, okay? So if anything, Teofimo Lopez, I think, is at a point in his career where he fails that it's better to shut down for a while until this marriage shit ends so he wouldn't have to award his wife more and more money, you know? But I think in the long run, him complaining about the money that he has, $2 million for a fight purse, that's pretty good fighting Josh Taylor. Now, I do agree with Bradley because it's the business of boxing. If you, being a boxer, know half your shit's going to taxes, then you got to pay your trainers off. 
other expenses. You know that's coming off the top. You know, so why you've been a fighter, so why are you complaining about that shit now when the fight purses are only getting bigger? So if it's getting bigger, that's what it is. So yeah, I mean that's that is something that you should keep to yourself because people know that. That's just the politics of the game. That's just how it works. That's like, man, my taxes, man. I make too many taxes. My money, my tax I mean, like, why are you talking about that? You know? Now something that I don't think he's seen happen. Uh, because you guys seen my video before when he was married and happy and then now when he's getting a divorce, you know, it's two different people. So, yeah, shit cha changes. Things happen. And I think that uh, Tio has done a lot of whining and he was critical of people uh, talking about him or whatever. You know, well, now the question you ask yourself was Timothy Bradley uh, over critical of Tio saying that he was dog food? Well, Based on his last performance, that's how it looks like it was going. Josh Taylor had a flat performance, or just Teofimo Lopez was better. Nonetheless, Sandor Martin was a guy that whooped that ass. I think he beat Teo. Teo even asked himself, he thought the mic was off, do I still have it? And people heard that. So yeah, it's safe to say Timothy Bradley was in the right direction by thinking, hey, maybe this kid ain't set out for 140. You know, but he proved us wrong at when he was when he fought Josh Taylor. But then again, Josh Taylor, you know, probably had an off night. I don't know what it is. Maybe Josh Taylor should go to 147 like he should have went to 140 a long time ago. OK, so I don't know. But nonetheless, I like Timothy Bradley because he did do the yang and he did the yang. He praised the kid, but he also said, hey, let me keep it real about this kid because this kid's been talking shit about me. We used to be cool until I made a comment. Then he took and pulled the fucking race card. So, yeah, I if I'm Timothy Bradley, I'm going to keep it 100. And that's exactly what he did. You guys tell me what you think of Timothy Bradley speaking on Teofimo Lopez. Do you think he's whining a little bit too much? Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.